Welcome to FC Instant. That's what the show is called on Film Companion. It's a live chat on Facebook. Uh, so what we're going to do is wait for a couple of seconds for people to tune in, your fans to tune in because we've tweeted about it and got the word out. So we'll have a bunch of them joining. You guys get to ask your questions to Sunny Deol, Shreyas Talpare and Bobby Deol during the course of this conversation. I'll take as many live questions as well. But like I was just talking to you guys about how exhausting promotions can get. What I usually do at the start of a live chat is ask you guys what that one question is that you're sick and tired of answering. And I'll keep it out of this chat at least. So you go, whoever. You have one, Bobby? Uh, all the questions. <laughs> you're just done with promotions. So like, mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're not going to hear much of him for this interview. What about you, Shail? No, actually, Bobby, I don't know. Samandar is not going to be there. If you ask me a question, then I'm ready. बॉबी को समंदर का किनारा बहुत पसंद है दैट इज द रीजन हम लोग जितना हो सके शूटिंग इन जूहू इन मुंबई जस्ट बिसाइड द कोस्ट इन केस यू गाइज इज दर क्वेश्चन दैट यू फाइंड ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ पोस्ट टू बॉय प्रमोशन Um, they keep asking the like कहने के बारे में बताओ कैरेक्टर के बारे में बताओ दिस जस्ट कैरी ऑन डूरिंग द सेम थिंग इवन वॉन्स यू आंसर दट Then from some other point, they'll be asking the same question. Okay. Mm-hmm. So basically, that is the otherwise it's okay. That gets exhausting. Yeah. yeah. So those of you guys tuning in just a little bit late to FC Instant, welcome to the show. You guys get a chance to ask your questions directly live on Film Companion to the three of them. You know. It's a Facebook live chat. The last I spoke to you, you weren't on social media, but now the balls have changed, and you're on Twitter, you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook, you're doing a live chat. How fun or exhausting has the whole process of uh, well, being out there been? Well, I have not. I, I mean, I'm 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 doing it at my own pace. Okay. So uh, I'm chilled with it, and I'm enjoying it because uh, at times I get to interact with my fans. I mean, that's what the purpose Beautiful. is, basically. You know. And um, so, and they, and I'd rather be me, and they also know what I am. So then, I have no issues. But it's when suddenly you have this pressure. Now, for you to do this, you have to do this. You have to do this. That is. Ask your post for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that that is that that thing that that I can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten on board yes. as well. Is it an effort for you? What do I post today? How I mean, do I have I mean, people perceive it me? It is. It is difficult. To- Keep posting things, but the first thing I did it for Twitter was because there were a lot of fake Bobby deals, uh-huh. and they used to write rubbish. And so finally, I decided I have to do something about it. Cyber people didn't help, so because you could kept trying to stop people, but you start again somewhere. So then finally, I started my Twitter, which is at the deal. Make note, everybody. At the deal, and that's me, and all the other Bobby deals on Twitter are all fake. And yes, I have started Instagram as well. That's I am Bobby Deol, and that I enjoy because I like to put pictures. I love taking pictures. I'm always taking pictures of everybody and anybody. And then when I do that with my friends, they keep complaining. I said, guys, I'm giving you all memories. You know. You put some pictures, amazing stuff with your father as well. Yeah, I know some great pictures. I mean, my, any picture of my dad is a good picture because he's so damn good looking. <laughs> so I have made him come on to Twitter and Facebook. I mean, on uh, Instagram. Instagram. So he's a little slow as well. We are his kids, so we are slow. He's slow. <laughs> Start getting so faster. So you're going to listen to my family. <laughs> But speaking of social media, along with it come all the trolls. How do you guys handle this? Like, I, do you I, just I, ignore them or see, take them on? See, there's no point uh, uh, getting uh, upset about being trolled because it's going to happen. Human beings' basic nature is to write bad or read bad stuff. They don't want to read good. They only basically, you know, that's how they are. But but, it's, but Twitter and uh, Facebook and uh, Insta and all these things that help people fights and causes. Mm-hmm. That's one good yeah. thing out of it. Yeah. But other than that, they, there's always more uh, below the bell stuff being written, and then your name is used and fake statements are passed, which is not right. Mm-hmm. You know, so that is sad. But now that I have got a blue tick on my Twitter, I'm a little safe <laughs> because at least I can tell people that's that's. I guess trolling earlier was pretty indirect. Okay. These days, it's more direct because, because you're also there. You're well. yeah, available on Twitter and Insta and Facebook. It's more direct. So sometimes it does bother you. Uh, it's it's not that you know. I mean, we're humans. At the end of the day, things like some rubbish will bother you uh, at some point. But then you tend to you learn about it and learn to just ignore it and move on in life. So you also get to know that it's pretty temporary. So there are there are certain uh, nuisance elements who. try to get their 15 minutes of fame uh, via the social uh, media so they get there i guess by the end of the day people have already forgotten 
Fair enough. We'll take a couple of questions coming in live. But before that, I want to ask you, we're talking about poster boys, of course. Has being uh, an actor really helped you with the whole process of taking on uh, the mantle of director? Or were there days, no, days you were like, dude, I was doing perfectly fine as an actor. What have I got no, myself but on, into? Honestly, I really enjoyed this process. Yeah? I had a great time doing it and I never thought, I thought it probably would be very stressful. But it turned out to be a stress buster. Me, you shot in what 35, 37 days? 38 days, yeah. How did you, the both of you, manage that? <laughs> well, I remember I was on the day, on day two, uh, when we were shooting, we shoot, started shooting at 9 o'clock in the morning, it went on to like 11 30, and by the end of the day, Paji was sitting there quietly, and I went and sat next to him and I said, Paji, are you okay? He said, yes. But is this the way you're going to be shooting every day? <laughs> I said, no, only today. Uh, but yeah, I guess, you know, all of us were into it. I mean, really uh, enjoyed every day of the shoot. It was so much fun. And you were, you were excited because the script and the characters you were given were so exciting. Yeah, the trailer so looks to, like a lot of fun. Yeah, so to be on set and playing those characters, we didn't care about the time. Yeah, we would start But early. it was a very new experience, right? For the both of you to have a candid film in 35, 37 days flat. I mean, no, uh, I have done films earlier you have. Also, like that's, that's something of that thing, but definitely uh, enjoying it and I, um, but I always love, li like to enjoy my shooting, even if the producer or any issues, wherever we are, the director, but still, you know, you get agitated and angry, but the only way of moving ahead is that you have to enjoy it and you have to find a way somewhere over there and do it, mm -hmm. but that's, that's on the Second. other side. Yeah. But definitely, uh, this film was a different genre because we started off with the... Uh, uh, loving the idea and from there that's how we all got together because we all felt that he's right, he's right, he's right and we should do it and then we came down to direction then obviously at that moment where do we get reflected and suddenly she has Enter, she she was the one who said so I that said I should definitely you should do it because he's so close to the subject he's been doing it all But did you know you had a director in you? I, I don't know probably I was planning to do it maybe uh, three four years down the line so you have him to thank. Absolutely, absolutely. He just probably gave me that confidence that just jump in and then things will be okay. And I, I really thank him for that because otherwise uh, I wouldn't have probably stepped out of my comfort zone and done this. And I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Enjoy and it. like, like you know, Bali and Bobby said that everybody was so into it that things just started falling in place one after the other. So every day we would start early, we'd have fun shooting our uh, scenes and improvising and adding that kind of value. So it was great, it was yeah. a great experience. We've seen you doing a little bit of dancing as well and it looks like a lot of fun. You very candidly said in an interview that I'm no Ritik Roshan when it comes to dance. But <laughs> yes, the amazing thing no, about us is that we want our actors to be good at everything. That's a lot of pressure on you guys. But I'll tell you what, there are more more people in India uh, trying to replicate what Sunny Pai and Daran Pai <laughs> do rather than, because we know that what Ritik does probably is, oh my God, how are we going to do that? But their steps are so Indian, Desi and simple and effective that hey, Baji ka yara ho, yara ho, da, ra, 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 you can immediately start doing that. That's the best part of it. What was that like? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, I always run away from kind of the song. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> that has been my shortcoming. But, uh, but definitely, off late, I started enjoying it because uh, my fans and my uh, the people who uh, follow me, my films, uh, they've given me the confidence like I, they see and they enjoy it and they're dancing like that. So it's given me, okay, okay I mean, I don't have to be ashamed. Not at all. I, I, I just have to be myself and just do it. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I'm yeah. not the bothered song, about. The song was an Arjun Pandit, the one we used to remix. And the reason why we took the song was because an Arjun Pandit, Arjun Pandit, we didn't want to dance the song. Ah, so we saw, so saw to it that no, we're going to make a dance with song. We can't run away from it. So we write a long <laughs> list of a song which everybody's compiling now. Guys, if you have requests, send them in now. A <laughs> <laughs> good idea, you guys. Yeah. And you know, speaking of candid interviews, I was just rereading this amazingly candid interview you gave the Huffington Post some time ago. And it was so on, I mean, so honest and so heartfelt and it was interesting to read. So what I was curious to ask you is, what has been the perception has there been any change after that interview came out? I mean, uh, I, you know, I, I, I hadn't given an interview for so long and then I gave one also, I didn't expect people to read it, but it went viral. Yeah. So it was nice, a lot of people reacted to it in the big thing, you know, but you know, as news is, you read it one day, you remember it for two days and then you forget. Yeah, I reread it today. So, <laughs> so what happens is people approached and then they just went away, but that doesn't make, but the thing is, I as a person have, has, I have changed myself. 
And that shows on me, and that's what reflects, and that's what I believe in. And I know that will help me to move forward. Mm -hmm. So I didn't say that, gave that interview to help me in any way. Mm -hmm. I just spoke, because I was being asked questions, and I never thought, I never have any ill feeling for anyone, so I just said what I had to say. And I had to let people know, because people had started assuming that I was happy with life, I have lots of money, I am not interested in working, and I was fed up because I really wanted to work. You know? So I just wanted to let people know that I want to work, I want to work, and I was so excited when we got to the subject because it was so different from anything I've done. Yeah. You know, I play a small town school teacher. Bobby Dio playing a small town school teacher. I was like, who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. So I was like so excited because he believed in it, and then chose Hindi. So we both sat together. We worked really hard. We did workshops. And when we shot, it was over in 37 days. You know, I, I, there's the someone uh, who mentioned the sequence where Bobby's sleeping with his wife on the floor and the kids are sleeping on the bed. And it's a small room that he has. And someone said, Dude, Bobby Doll's sleeping on the floor, will that be okay? <laughs> I said, Dude, he's Vinay Sharma right now, okay? And he's happy doing it. So, so yeah, that was the kind of perception. But I'm glad that the kind of effort that he's put into it is. I'm amazing. glad we are part of this film. Yeah, you mentioned so much in the interview about how badly you wanted to get back on the set and this poster boys was getting back on the set after a while. What did you enjoy most about just being on the set, something that you may have even taken for granted some years ago? I'm, I'm more focused now because I think when you take things for granted when you're doing fine mm -hmm. and then when things are not fine you realize that the things you need to correct in yourself and that's what I did the last four years, try to correct myself. And it's never too late in my life, you know. It's always, there's always a brighter day. And I think... Absolutely. <laughs> Let's take a couple of questions coming in live. Okay. Uh, Mohini is asking, what was the most fun you all had on set? Most fun on this set? Uh, was it a fun set? Was on it this really? set, yeah. you know, fun means we were doing our work and everything, that was fun. But offset, uh, was it anything? We just left after work. Yeah. <laughs> Some days we I used to make I used to make sure that they were so tired for me, by the, the end. Fun was, for me, the fun was basically, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, after ages I started going shooting films in India. Earlier on, I used to do a lot of them. I was missing that out. And because of this, the opportunity I got, when we went to the board, where it had been years back, and what was so beautiful around over there was if we were still back in time. There were little cards over there, the houses just like that, and there was so much of happiness they had. They didn't have all the EXPs, but they were so, so happy. And it used to be so nice just sitting with them and have a cup of tea with them. And then I used to usually get food from them, call over and used to eat that food, which was the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. suddenly one fine day I get to know I'm outside and I said, uh, uh, his food and everything, and I, uh, he's called for some local uh, food, kisi ek garse, garma garam bakri jaysa, so bakri aari, oh, is he going to be okay with <laughs> that? No, no, he's happy about it. You know, the film is called Poster Boys. It actually reminds me of a conversation that Salman Khan and Shah Rukh Khan had actually done with Film Companion where they both talked about the pressure of playing good guys on screen because of the kind of fan following that they have. Is that a kind of pressure that you guys have as actors as well where you think twice before playing, playing something too negative for the kind of influence it may have on your characters? I, I, I think that... Uh, Audiences? I think that as an actor, I would like to play characters okay. which are interesting. Okay. And that doesn't mean that it has to be just a positive actor. It could be a negative character, but there's so many negative characters which are so interesting. But what kind of negative character and what he does and what happens, you have to think about that. Mm -hmm. But negative is an interesting character to play. Mm -hmm. You know, and I would love to do things yeah. which are so you see, what happens, see, what happens about negative and positive is just uh, the way, you know, most of our actors would like to do Thoughts, but definitely, if I have to play a negative actor, then I should justify I am negative. Don't go for finding out something that that is the reason I became negative. Mm -hmm. you know, that nobody does. Mm -hmm. Because they need to have a reason behind, otherwise, why am I negative? Sure. sure. So that's the way it should be. Like, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're because you're portraying that character, you're not portraying yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And film is also. Me. I mean, yeah. I mean you're portraying us. I mean, and there is a part of you which is making it just is justifying it out over there because you have all that in you. You have your hate. You have the everything inside you. And that those these act characters we get, we get the chance to bring them out. You know. So I think it's such a beautiful profession. Yeah. That's true. Do you want to take another question? Uh, there's Anjul asking. Uh, 
Tell us more about Yamla Pagla Diwana 2. This is poster boys. Hi Anju. This is poster boys. Yes. And I have Yamla Pagla Diwana here. We will talk about it. But definitely we have started and uh, when we are ready for it, we will definitely discuss it. Mm -hmm. And the other interesting thing is that you are grooming your son up for his launch. Yeah. I was reading an interview where, uh, watching an interview rather, where your dad talked about how he would come with you on the sets to dub for Betab for instance. I know that you're director of the film, of course, so things are going to be very different, but how much has the process of launching a star kit changed then to now? Do you see any difference? Um, I don't see there much of a difference what my dad did that time. Only thing is that he was just a producer, here I'm a director. Otherwise, the process is basically what, what when I did Beta, when we did even uh, Bobby's Prasad, basically just trying to see that we do the, get the best of the things and see the things are there and uh, get the best out of all the people. So, and that's what we're trying to do right now as well. What's been uh, the dad-like advice that you've given him? Because it's a very different industry. I just told him, I just told him, just be, I mean, like I, I say that, do what you want to do. And if you feel you're not comfortable, don't do it. And, uh, but push yourself. And uh, you will learn from your own mistakes. I can't, uh, even if I tell you, please don't do that, please don't do that, you're not going to understand that till you go through the process of it. So I think it's a learning process. That's what I went through, and that's what everybody, I think. We grow, and it's best way of learning is Pukul Khagi Yadmisi. Gir Gir Ke Pata Chalta Ke Haan Ye, Ye Galat Hai, Ye Ye. No, I just wish him all the best because on the father's side, your heart is always pounding. <laughs> but from the reality side, you have to live. Yeah, and uh, you play a selfie addict in the film. I mean, not bad for someone who's been so away from social media. It's literally full circle. So I'm going to wrap up this interview by asking you to show us how to take the perfect selfie. <laughs> well, I am a pouty selfie. <laughs> We're going to learn tips on taking the perfect selfie from Sunny Deol, guys, so make notes. <laughs> so all I say is, come over here and just turn like how people on. turn the camera around. <laughs> and there I are, yeah. Know. And then go, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this moment I didn't see happening in my life, but well done. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with Film Companion. If you guys missed this chat, you can catch it on our Facebook page right after we log on. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. You can